Throughout history, the ability to preserve food has been central to ensuring adequate nutrition and countering hunger. Meeting that challenge, the work of our 2007 World Food Prize laureate has revolutionized the way the world stores and transports food. Raised on a farm near Morristown, Indiana, young Philip Nelson grew up working in his family's tomato canning factory, known as the Blue River Packing Company. There, he experienced firsthand the difficulties of harvesting and storing the seasonal tomato crop before it perished. The rush to process and can tomatoes led Nelson's father to remark, you don't have to be crazy to be a tomato processor, but it helps. At the age of 15, Philip Nelson won the crown of Tomato King in a contest at the Indiana State Fair sponsored by Purdue University. He went on to study agriculture at Purdue, where he met and married his college sweetheart, Sue. After graduating in 1956, Nelson returned to the family canning operation, only to find that the tomato industry had largely moved west. His family made the painful decision to close Blue River, and Nelson was left to ponder his future. He returned to Purdue as a part-time horticulture instructor and earned his PhD in flavor chemistry. Later, after briefly considering a job on the East Coast, he had a sudden change of heart. He decided to continue his career at Purdue, this time as a tenure-track assistant professor. It was a decision that would lead to a nearly 50-year career at the university and the scientific discoveries that would impact the world. Recalling his experiences as a boy, Nelson was intrigued by the challenge of whether tomatoes, one of the world's most processed food products, could be stored aseptically or pathogen-free in tanks for long periods of time without becoming contaminated or spoiling while retaining their flavor and nutrients. Starting with five 100-gallon tanks, which Nelson and his students filled with tomatoes they chopped by hand, he embarked on the painstaking process of bringing together various elements of aseptic processing. Through trial and error, he eventually settled on carbon steel tanks lined with an epoxy resin. He created valves to allow the sterilized food to fill the tanks without reintroducing contaminants, and developed filters to keep the air in the tanks sterile. Nelson took the success of the 100-gallon tanks to food industry representatives. While they were impressed by his innovations, they told him the tanks were far too small for their purposes. Nelson took on their challenge and worked his way up to 15,000-gallon tanks. After years of hard work and setbacks, he finally achieved success. Nelson introduced to the world something that had never been possible before the ability to store bulk quantities of foods for long periods of time with no spoilage, contamination, or loss of flavor or nutritional value. Companies from around the U.S. and abroad began implementing Nelson's bulk aseptic storage system and were able to adapt it for other fruit and vegetable products. In the early 1970s, Nelson partnered with the Scholey Corporation to develop bulk aseptic filling techniques for flexible packaging rather than cans, drums, and tanks for the storage of processed foods. With Nelson's collaboration, Scholey developed bags that held up to 300 gallons and were cheaper to manufacture and easier to transport than the heavier metal containers. Ultimately, the technology to store foods aseptically in bags spread throughout the food industry, replacing metal drums and tanks. Nelson also worked with Fran Rica Manufacturing to develop the bag-in-box system, which allowed for polyurethane bags to be filled aseptically, sealed, and then placed in boxes for easy and inexpensive transport. The bag-in-box system has had a remarkable impact in developing countries, where much of the harvested crop is often lost to spoilage. 
the low cost and relative ease of transporting various foods has allowed these countries to preserve food for domestic distribution or for export and sale overseas. In many nations, up to half the food supply is lost due to storage, packaging, and transport deficits. The breakthrough technologies of Dr. Nelson and his methodologies are tearing down these barriers to a food secure world. One of the more widely visible impacts of Nelson's work came in the mid-1980s when Tropicana approached Nelson to apply his technologies to orange juice. At the time, most orange juice was processed and transported in frozen concentrate form to maintain freshness and flavor. Tropicana applied Nelson's systems to protect the flavor of orange juice in million gallon tanks, thus allowing fresh juice to be sold year round and with options such as low or no pulp or vitamin and mineral fortification. The technology spread to Brazil, where tanker ships were developed, each capable of storing and exporting 8 million gallons of orange juice from Brazil to Europe and the United States. Interestingly, the shipments arranged by the Brazilian company Citrusuco are offloaded in the U.S. by the Ruan companies, led by World Food Prize chairman John Ruan III. Philip Nelson's technologies can be found in almost every country in the world. He has traveled extensively, sharing his methods and knowledge with scientists from around the globe and working with international companies such as Tetra Pak and Kikoman. New humanitarian applications have also arisen from his technology. Feeding programs can now provide aseptically packaged milk and biscuit products as part of school nutritional programs in the developing world and companies are applying Nelson's systems to provide emergency relief in times of crisis. Following the destruction of the 2004 tsunami in Southeast Asia and the 2005 hurricanes in the United States Gulf Coast, relief efforts provided potable water using the flexible packaging systems perfected by Nelson. The convenience and cost effectiveness this packaging provides are likely to allow global relief agencies to expand their efforts. Dr. Nelson's impact on the global food industry cannot be overstated. He holds a dozen U.S. patents and more overseas. And in 1991, the Institute of Food Technologists hailed aseptic processing and packaging as the greatest overall innovation in food science of the past 50 years. Food scientists worldwide recognize Dr. Philip Nelson, who has revolutionized the way food is processed, stored, packaged, and transported. His achievements place him among the giants of food science. Nicholas A. Pear, who discovered canning, Louis Pasteur, who developed pasteurization, and Clarence Birdseye, who developed quick freezing. Dr. Nelson's work has opened up the opportunity to feed the world. Dr. Philip E. Nelson is truly an icon of the food world. His discoveries have made major contributions to the availability of nutritious food for millions of people around the globe. And his legacy will continue to grow as many of the emerging uses of aseptic processing and storage are applied and adopted worldwide. It is thus most fitting that this one-time tomato king, talented son of Purdue University, and dedicated scientist, now be honored as the 2007 World Food Prize Laureate.